Hello and welcome to another video of mine. It's like London buses at the moment. You get none for ages and then two come along at once. In today's episode, I want to talk about these. Yes. Now, I I was serious about uh, turning down the dealing. That doesn't mean I won't deal anymore. I've had some really nice messages from people saying, "Oh, well, you shouldn't you shouldn't stop." I'm I'm not stopping, but. I'm going to do it for my enjoyment and for a bit of beer money, you know. The reason I want to talk about these is because of this. Now, I got in a load of these. These are the ones I kept. Not because they were the best ones or anything like that, but purely because I want to personally stack these because I love them. I love the meaning behind them more than the actual notes themselves. I'm not a fan of American currency. I think there's such better currencies out there that you could collect in note form. And I'm pretty sure that many other people would agree with me. If you don't agree with me, then please don't thumb me down. Um, oh, you can if you want, I, it's up to you. It's not a problem. Now, I like these because you used to be able to trade these for a silver dollar. Oh, that's my understanding of it anyway. And they pass an act through Congress or a bill through Congress. I'm not too sure how the legal system works in America. I'm not too up to date of it but something happened and they they stopped doing it in 1968 from my understanding i was doing a little bit of digging into it a while ago and they just turned around and said you can no longer swap these for a silver dollar which is it's crafty really isn't it yes ah i've got it in front of me actually the act allowed the exchange of silver certificates for silver bullion until June 24th, 1968. So after that date, you weren't allowed to swap these for silver bullion. And I think they did that for a reason. They knew that this was worthless. And I think that's probably when the currency went downhill. Now, what does that say? Well, that says to me that silver and gold because there were gold certificates they were worth something and yeah they they took that right away from people when they took it off the silver and gold standard and it's a real crying shame but it's a nice little reminder of the past and why i stack personally and why i became a, a dealer myself because i fundamentally believed in notion of sound money i think it's important to own assets that over time maintain their value or increase in value and i was recently looking at a chart i don't have it in front of me sadly i probably should find it i might put it up on another video i don't know but i was recently looking at a chart where they compared how the stock market had done compared to how gold and silver had done over the last 20 years and gold and silver absolutely kicked the stock market's ass it really did and i i will never turn around and say have all your eggs in one basket i don't fundamentally believe that i've always been a believer of diversification i've been buying shares since i was 18 years old i've had lots of money on the stock market at one point less money on it now probably because i've transitioned my money into active investments rather than growing my capital via passive investments such as like I, I was a big fan of oil companies i still own uh shares in shell or uh, royal dutch shell should i say the anglo dutch conglomerate just really nice let's let's zoom in then i do like this i this is kind of like the old stock market. Oh, the shares. <laughs> yeah, the, the the paper shares. The I had a friend who used to buy and sell them, and he made very good money. But you have to know what you're looking for. He he was autistic. Um, personally, I think I'm I'm partially autistic. I think I'm on the spectrum. But uh, he could really pick out winners from the losers, and he did very well. He was also a miner. He he earned a lot of money one year. He showed me. Uh, we had a. We had a uh, 
an interesting time together when we were studying for our master's degree. But yeah, this is this is nice. I do think it's the note is kind of boring. Maybe it's kind of boring because there's so many of them though. Because when you break the design down, it's actually quite nice. It's like the original major currency, I guess. Uh, paper currency. It's a lot more iconic than the pound note, that's for sure. But then again, we had gold sovereigns, so who was really losing? <laughs> you know, we didn't really have a dollar. We we just had a sovereign originally, half sovereign, then silver. So I think the Americans got that from us. So yeah, just my thoughts. What do you guys think of this? Do you think it's a nice piece of history? Like, I can make money on these all day long. So I, I buy them in for... Oh, well, I've actually got a a supplier of these. I don't buy from them all the time. I just get them. I just get some notes in. Like I bought some other notes in to trial. I will probably show them on another video. You know, as I am opening up the channel, I've kind of really stayed away prior to releasing content that wasn't purely coins or to do with education on coins. And I think that now I am decided in the fact that I want to open up the channel, I will bring in some more variety and I will talk about stock markets and companies and minings and uh, mining companies. So I think that type of thing is important because to break down the complexities for most people will do a lot of people favours. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Like, comment and subscribe and do your thing. Bye.